guys, I'm back with another podcast. With all the e-drama out of the way, thank God, most, like, all the podcasts from here on out can be all about anonymous agony, game development, and other stuff related to it. Now, like I said in the previous video, I keep up with people discussing anonymous agony to see what they think and what they're saying, and I don't post on 4chan for multiple reasons, mainly because I don't know what to fucking say to those people, and another reason is because I can't really confirm it's me, so I don't even try. I just don't really have any, anything to say, particularly, either. But I did notice this comment, um, talking about one of their scenes from the leaked script. And, um, I, I don't know why people got the idea that uh, the game would not have voice acting still. It will. Matt, unfortunately, moved on to different, bigger things. And God could not come back. He, he wanted more money than I had to give him. But I already re, uh, I'd already recast Hayes' voice actor, um... I had him recast once before, too, and he was in the Pico Day video. But, speaking of Yumi, a character that's yet to be introduced yet, well, I say she's yet to be introduced, but I'll give you guys a fun fact. Do you know Yumi and her original voice actress, who I still, her, her original voice actress is still the one playing her, appears in File 1, she shows up with her uh, permanent sprite and voice actress, in the scene with Dr. Edwin, when Hayes first enters, uh, the office, he's already seeing another patient, and that patient is Yumi. I'm sorry, could you come back tomorrow, please? I apologize. It's important. Oh, sure. Once you... I just, you know, I did a little trick that I saw one of my other game favorite games do, and because the players didn't know she was going to be important, I just took her face art away. So I wanted her to be there so people look back they could see her. So, surprise, Yumi's in file one with a huge one line of dialogue. Which is how she caught wind of Hayes in the first place. Like I've told people multiple times, the ending of Anonymous Agony was planned from the beginning. It was always meant to escalate to much bigger things than just a uh, serial killer killing people. Um, but the good thing about me having the ending planned ahead of time is I could put a lot of stuff early on to hint at it or allude to things coming later. I'm always against writing stories and just go doing it as I go along for the most part. I have to have a bigger picture I'm working towards already set in motion or it doesn't really have a lot of foundation to me. But this, like I said, this gave me lots of opportunities to hide lots of things that hint towards the ending, even in the first chapter, like Yumi showing up, lots of text messages, stuff on free flow. There's a lot, there's a lot of stuff hidden in file one alone. And I will continue to do that in future files. It's just how I write. Speaking of Yumi's voice actress, she's actually a personal friend of mine. So that's somebody I'm most likely not going to lose unless she dies. I really hope she does not die. But yeah, we and her talk all the time. We actually play games online together. So she's a close friend of mine. And which is funny because during the Pico Day video, it was something we made for Newgrounds on their birthday to show off. Um, it uses, it used a different voice actor for Hayes, who is still not the permanent voice actor. The permanent voice actor for Hayes is, uh, Chris Detoli. Detoli? I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but here's his page. Um, he's been officially cast as Hayes, uh, post and prior time skip. You can look at his page to hear some of his other works and get an idea of what his voice sounds like. But during the Pico Day video, I realized that the scene I was trying to show had Juno talking, speaking, and I didn't, hadn't had him cast yet, so I was like, hey guys, I'm just gonna do something as a stand-in, and I ended up doing the voice of Juno myself, and it wasn't, I didn't plan to have it stick at first, but I asked my friends, I didn't even ask them, I just waited to see, hear what they said, I had a couple of friends say you're, uh, say, you're a good fit for Juno, you should keep doing it, you have a high, nerdy voice just like him, I was like, okay, well, better use it for something, then. So I will be voicing Juno in the full game as well. It save me some money too, so just do it myself. And I've dabbled in voice acting for many years. I just decided to focus on game design over anything else. So it's kind of neat that Yumi's voice actor, actress, and Juno's voice actor are friends. Maybe Hayes can join our little ragtag group too. But still, voice acting will be in the final product. It won't be as extensive as File 1 overall, but also... Let me put it this way. Overall, there'll be more voice acting than File 5. But the consistency of it 
that was in file one probably won't be there just because we have so much to cover and part of the reason i have not shared more voice scenes is because while the script is complete we're still figuring out which scenes need to be voiced and calculating the cost of it the time file size is another big thing um so we're still figuring out which scenes we want to have voice which ones we don't so until that's finalized no one recording can start this is another reason the episodic nature of the game was abandoned. I had no idea how long different files would take me to record, and if you have a large cast of voice actors assembled and you have them record something that is episodic, something could happen and they could not redeem their roles, which would ruin the flow of the game. It already happened with uh, Matt Shipman and Hayes' old voice actor, so I don't want that to happen again, so I want to make sure I have the entire story that needs to be recorded ready and have the same people do it start to end to uh, stop that from happening again. And yeah, I'm really excited to see everybody get to the ending of Anonymous Agony. It is much different than it started out. And I am oh, I was really upset that any of that leaked uh, in the ending parts. But luckily, the, the part that leaked, the script that leaked, was extremely incomplete during the ending sections. I think it was missing two whole chapters, two whole files leading up to the ending, and the ending only had... Final chapters only had pieces of it, because I hadn't even started writing it chronologically yet. So it's, if they thought that was crazy, it's a lot more coming. But on top of it just being crazy for the sake of being crazy, it's consistent with the plot of the story too. So seeing it build up to that, will it will be beneficial and rewarding, I'm sure. One of my favorite things to do in game design is to introduce players to systems that they're comfortable with, like the cell phone system where you can check text messages, the free flow system where you can chat online, instant, the instant messenger, the desktop. I like introducing players to features that they can rely on, and then as the game reaches its, its conclusion near the end, use those features against them, or use them to mess with them. That's something I definitely picked up from Middle Gear Solid 2, and I the effect that had was really cool, and I wanted to do something similar to that, and take it a lot further, too. I also read something about Naive deleting comments on his videos regarding AA. I don't know. I don't know why he's doing that, but I still have uh, the rights to use some of his music in my games. Um, maybe instead of, you know, harassing him with the words yee yee, maybe you can just say you like his work in the game? You know, maybe so he, so he knows where it's coming from. Right now he's just being harassed by people saying a, a term he, he probably doesn't know. He probably just thinks you're making fun of his song, and it probably started as that. So, if it's any more than that, you know, maybe let him know. Now, I have wanted to make games, and made games, for a long time. I was 15 when I first started messing around with game coding, and how I taught myself to make games is kind of unorthodox. I would go into game, game programming, game files, and the scripting, and I would modify things change things and just to see what it would do inside the game itself it was kind of it was kind of a method of reverse uh, reverse learning I would tear stuff down to see how to rebuild it I mean it worked really well because I got to see what did what by just breaking it so if you want to learn how to do game design or you know, start learning some stuff just take one of your favorite games something you really a game you've played over and over again something you know in and out and start modifying the programming and seeing what does what It'll teach you a lot more than you think. And unfortunately, in my earlier years, I was trying to do a lot of different things at the same time, which was probably my ADD trying to, you know, take hold of my life. But I, uh, I think the main project I did the most of was this RPG that has an, a thousand-page script that we got a lot of work done for. I finished every town in that game. The, uh, de uh, the core system of the development... The, the core system of the character progression got finished. Um... Most of the music got done, most of the art got done, the whole story got done, and I made about 30 hours of content in that game already. There's a demo for that game floating around somewhere, and I still plan to go back to this, because, you know, that was my first project I actually finished writing, but it's just so, gar it's even bigger than AA, and AA only really has story content. This is a full-blown RPG with lots of systems in play, so I knew I needed to kind of work up to that. Plus, because AA got popular first, I knew I needed to focus on that first. So, But AA being so big, and the next projects I'm working on being so large, I do want to try my hand at making something a lot smaller. You know, making a cheap dollar, $2, $3 game that actually, you know, 
try my hand at a smaller game. Not to say this game would be low on content. It'd be the same kind of content that's in AA and the same effort would go into it, but it would just be a lot shorter. And I'm not sure if I'm even capable of making something short like that because usually my brain just gets this big, long, big, huge, complicated thing together. I'm still going to try it too just to get my feet wet a little bit. I'm not quite sure yet if that's going to pan out, but I've already started work on it and have it done story-wise. And it, As it looks, it's going to be about a 45-minute game, nothing long. Hour 45 minutes, I looked to Witch's House, that one RPG Maker game, that one RPG Maker horror game that came out. They got a lot of popularity, and that showed me how good a short game can be and how impactful. You know, especially with its multiple endings and paths and stuff. And I, I just love horror sprite games. That being said, Anonymous Agony is still going to be my only main priority until it's finished and released. If the other thing does not pan out, it will at least be released as a one-shot of some sort. But yes, Anonymous Agony was a lot of work to do because I wanted all the systems in play to be fully realized. I wanted an interactive uh, chat system, a messenger, a texting system. I even am going as, so far as to make fake web pages to further the story in the game and put them on the actual web. So it's a fully realized story, and it's mainly internet-based, because the game is mainly internet-based. So it's going to be really cool when it's all done. Um, I'm sure you guys got, like, a, a hint of that with the file one. Like, um, what was it? The music store owner, Hale. She has her own Twitter. And I plan to make her own website for Endless Rhythm, too, still featuring real indie artists and bands. Same with the uh, art museum and the art gallery. And one of the upcoming podcasts I'll probably try to have Yumi's voice actress join, uh, join me if she's down for it, and hopefully Hayes's too. Um, but that's up to them. Anyways, that's it for this time. I'll catch you guys next week or the week after. Bye.